Cardinal Gates – Safety Products for Children, Pets, and Homes In this video, we will show how to install the Stairway Special Safety Gate, model SS30, as well as some of the features and benefits, and how the latch works. For assembly assistance, please call 1-800-318-3380. The following tools are required for installation. A Phillips screwdriver, a pencil, a tape measure or a ruler, a drill with a 1-8 diameter drill bit for the pilot holes, and finally, a wrench. Parts list. Part A, hinge bracket, quantity one. Part B, hinge rod, quantity one. Part C, Phillips screw, quantity four. Part D, two bolts with two serrated washers. Part E, two eye bolts with two nuts and washers. Part F, two plastic shoulder washers. Part G, one eight inch Allen wrench, quantity one. Part H, latch bracket, quantity one. Part I, key ring, quantity one. Part J, four long screws for drywall. Part K, latch, quantity one. Part L, set screw, quantity two. Part M, optional one-way stop bracket. And finally, the gate. Step one, mounting the hinge bracket. For this step, you will require the following parts. A screwdriver, a pencil, a tape measure or a ruler, a drill with a 1-8 diameter drill bit for the pilot holes, part A, one hinge bracket, and finally, part C, two Phillips screws. Begin the assembly by using a tape measure or a ruler to measure six and a half inches above the surface of the floor where you wish to install the gate. Use a pencil to mark the location. Next, using a drill with a 1-8 diameter drill bit, drill a small pilot hole. Proceed by placing the hinge bracket, part A, vertically up against the wall. Make sure the bottom hole on the bracket matches the drilled hole location. Bracket must be flat and perpendicular to the ground. Insert Phillips screw, part C, in the bottom drilled hole if you are installing the gate in wood. If you are installing a drywall, part J long screws may be used to attach the gate through drywall and into the stud. Based on your installation, special anchors for the wall might be needed. Tighten the screw using the screwdriver. Careful not to over-tighten the screw. Use a pencil to mark the location of the top hole. Next, grab the hinge bracket and pivot bracket out of the way to the side. Using a drill with a 1-8 diameter drill bit, drill a small pilot hole. Pivot bracket back into position, matching the top drilled hole. Next, insert the Phillips screw part C into the hole to secure the hinge bracket. Finally, using the screwdriver, tighten the screw. Step 1 is now complete. Step 2. Eye bolt installation. For this step, you will require the following parts a wrench, the gate, and part E, two eye bolts with two nuts and washers. Begin step two by locating the side of the gate that has three holes in it. The middle hole will not be used, only the upper and lower holes receive the eye bolts. Next, insert the eye bolt part E with nut and washer onto the top hole. Tighten the nut using a wrench, but do not over-tighten. 
Insert the second eye bolt, Part E, with nut and washer onto the bottom hole. Tighten the nut using a wrench. Step 2 is now complete. Step 3. Securing the gate with hinge rod. For this step, you will require the following parts. Part B, one hinge rod. Part F, two plastic shoulder washers. And part I, one key ring. Begin step three by adding two silencers. One plastic shoulder washer, part F, on top of the I ring and one on the bottom. Pick up the gate and set the gate onto the hinge bracket, matching the holes on the hinge bracket. Next, hang the gate by inserting the hinge rod part B through top of the mounted hinge bracket, through the plastic shoulder washers, and through the eye bolts. To secure the hinge, insert the key ring part I through the hinge rod. If you ever need to remove the gate, simply remove this key ring and pull rod off. This allows the entire gate to come off. Gates installed should be approximately 1 and 3 quarter inches above the floor. Gate can be mounted slightly lower or higher but never install the gate higher than two and three quarter inches above the floor surface. Step three is now complete. Step four, mount latch assembly. For this step, you will require the following parts. A screwdriver, a pencil, a drill with a 1-8 diameter drill bit for the pilot holes. Part C, two Phillips screws. Part D, two bolts with serrated washers. Part H, one latch bracket. Part K, the latch assembly. And finally, part M, an optional one-way stop bracket. Begin by mounting the latch assembly part K onto the gate. Make sure the latch is placed on top and the bottom pin is placed down. Next, secure the latch by using two bolts with serrated washers part D. Tighten the bolts using the wrench, but do not over tighten. Attach the latch bracket part H onto the latch assembly part K as shown. Make sure the small side of the bracket is mounted on top where the latch is and the large side of the bracket to the bottom of part K. The latch bracket can rotate and be placed against the wall up to angles of 30 degrees. Next, slide the gate out to the wall and place part H latch bracket flat against the wall. Using a pencil, mark the location of both the top and bottom holes. Slide gate back out of the way, and using a drill, drill two pilot holes on the marked locations. Unmount the latch bracket part H, and place the back of the bracket flush against the wall, matching the drilled holes. If you are installing the gate in wood, insert Part C Phillips screw, tighten the screws using the screwdriver.
The gate can now be opened in both directions, and if you prefer door to swing in both directions, step 4 is now complete, and you may proceed to step 5. If you prefer the gate to open only in one direction, you would need to install the optional one-way stop bracket Part M before you insert the Phillips screw located on the bottom of Part H. Simply place the slotted hole against the latch bracket with the long side oriented where you don't want the door to swing open. For example, if you want the gate to open in this direction, simply install bracket facing this way. And if you want the gate to only open in this other direction, install the bracket facing this way. After deciding which direction you want the door to swing, insert the Phillips screw Part C and tighten using a screwdriver. This concludes Step 4. Step 5. Setting the width of the gate. For this step, you will require the following parts. Part G, Allen wrench, and Part L, two set screws. Begin by sliding the gate into position. The gate must be closed and latched. Next, insert one set screw Part L in the upper bracket of the gate. To set the width of the gate, tighten the set screw using the Allen wrench Part G. Repeat this step for the lower bracket. This concludes step five. Congratulations, you have now completed the installation of the Stairway Special Safety Gate, model SS30. Gate operation. How to open and close the gate. Opening the gate is very unique. Pulling the gate up alone will not open the gate because of the flip latches lock into position. To open the gate, use your forefinger and thumb to simultaneously depress the two flip latches. With your remaining fingers, lift the gate and swing open. To close the gate, grasp the gate in the middle and lift the gate up a little to drop the big pin back into place. There is no need to flip the latch brackets when closing. The latch will reset itself automatically. The gate is now closed. This concludes the operation of the Stairway Special Safety Gate, model SS30. Enjoy your new gate. Cardinal Gates, safety products for children, pets, and homes. If it's a cardinal, it's the best.